All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you all today? Uh, it is so great uh, to be back with you. Uh, I am Nicholas Vaselli, the Artistic Director of Theatre Breaking Through Barriers. And uh, yes, I am coming to you completely and utterly live from high atop the glorious Thunderdome here in uh, beautiful and rainy Midtown Manhattan. And I want to welcome all of you to the second week of TBTV's third Virtual Playmakers Intensive, or VPI3, in Union. You guys, we had, we, th this is the biggest Virtual Playmakers Intensive that we've ever done. We normally do a thing that lasts you know, five, six, seven days. Uh, last time we did eight days, you know, we keep you know, going up. But this one is a 14 day event, 14 plays in 14 days, 75 artists in total. And we had a phenomenal last week. So if you missed uh, any of the shows from last week, from Monday till yesterday, um, go to YouTube. Uh, you, can, you can see on uh, our YouTube channel. You can also see them on our Facebook channel as well. So I want you to be able to catch up and see some of the incredible work that we've been doing. Again, all these original works in progress, really extraordinary. But we start a brand new week tonight, okay? And I always say Sunday is fun day. Well, no, 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 scratch that. Monday is fun day, and we have such a great play to kickstart our second week. And so I can't wait to share it with you. Um, this play was written by uh, a name that you'll probably know because you've heard me mention it enough times. Stuart Green. Stuart Green is sort of, uh, again, angel on the shoulder here, has brought us, uh, you know, so much. He's such an incredible artist, writer, director, actor, uh, a great friend, uh, and actually knows everybody in the world. And he's managed to bring so many incredible artists uh, and in introducing us. So, so many of the artists that are in this intensive are here because of Stuart Green. Uh, and he's written this play tonight. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, the play is directed by, again, another TBTV uh, company member, TBTV alum, has worked with us for years, and, and I'm so happy that he's working with us uh, again. Uh, you will see him later in the week as a performer, but tonight you're seeing his directing prowess, Ben Rausch. I mentioned Ben. Ben actually just got married last week, and Ben, ben is directing from Israel. Okay, now talk about an amazing feat. So there you go with that. And we have got, oh, this amazing cast, okay? Uh, some, of my, uh, some of my favorite actors in the world, Veronica Cruz, Sean Phillips, and Dan Teachout. Oh, my God. Dan, Dan and I go way back, and he's just an amazing actor. They're all amazing. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, no more talk. Without further ado, on this beautiful Monday night to help perk you up, pick, perk you up and make you feel so much better, I am happy to present... Stuart Green's Concession. Cause the player's gonna play, 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 play And the haters gonna hate, 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 hate I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake I Shake it off, shake it off Wow! That's great to hear, Charlie, really great. I know, Doc, I couldn't wait for our next session to tell you. I'm so glad I could fit you in. Oh, me too. I can't believe it myself, but... <sighs> you had a loss for words. <laughs> totally. Word. <laughs> Speechless. You feel elated. Beyond elated, inflated, flying, like, like totally lifted. Supported. 100%, Doc. I never knew this could be possible until now. You know, if you told me this development two years ago, I would have advised you against it. Right? <laughs> I bet you would have said something like, stop obsessing with body parts and take a look at the bigger picture and uh, use the grounding resources we've established. <laughs> Correct. So that you have a firmer perspective of what's really in front of you. Right. 100%. And even last year, I would have totally fought you on it tooth and claw or nail and fang. I know what you mean. Great. <laughs> I should hope you do by now. After five years, you, you probably could write my autobiography. A biography. That too. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, look, you've made some real progress in the time we've worked together. Thanks, Doc. I feel it. I finally feel it. <laughs> Sorry. 
I uh, argued with you so much before. It's okay. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Frederick Douglass. Nice. <laughs> you can't pass a classic like that one off as your own. <laughs> I wouldn't even try. Better not. I'm pretty quick at Google checking now. <sighs> You've really helped me, Doc. Thanks. But Charlie, you took the time. You waited things out and now you are enjoying the spoils. You trusted me to help you and I'm glad you did. Crazy, huh? <laughs> I've never had one decent relationship. And, and then we dive a little and I realize how much of an ass I've been to people that I actually care about. Sometimes outsiders have the best insights. Nice. Who's that from? SMG Lamas. Huh. Never heard of him. Maybe one day you will. You know, at this point, I don't consider you a uh, an outsider. I, I mean, you are, but, but you aren't. Think of me as a friend who listens and cares. And takes my insurance. <laughs> Just kidding, no offense. None taken. <sighs> I can't believe it happened so naturally. I didn't even have to try. Right. Because now that you have a better sense of yourself, you found someone that you can be yourself with. Yeah. Someone I can hang out with when... I don't feel like hanging out with anyone else. Now that's quotable. Maybe you're first. Ah, Charles M, the philosopher. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know it's a Google check you. <clears throat> I uh, probably shouldn't say this, but... Uh, it's your time. We can discuss whatever's on your mind. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know it's been a while since I was obsessed with uh, T and A, but... Uh, yeah, and, and then uh, some. Right. But I got to say, you know, from, from my new perspective about things, um, not only is she so easy to hang out with, but the sex is killer. <laughs> That's good, too. An important part of any relationship. Like, really good. Like, I'll spare you uh, the details. But even though I know deep down, you want to know. You want to know, you dog. <laughs> That's okay. I want you to enjoy those details for yourself. Yeah, I bet. I can only say I hope you get a little taste of it in your own way. I'll be fine, thanks. The main point is that you got into Nona over a respectable amount of time. You didn't rush, you didn't push, you let her in. And now you're enjoying the dividends. And then some, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Oh, if you were in the same room, I'd give you a big fat hug right now. And if we were in the same room, I'd let you. So have you decided when to introduce her to the family? Oh, hey, darling, I'm just in the middle of... No, 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 darling. Actually, now, she's just... Leave time to me. Honey, I will... Um, listen, sweetheart. Let's set a record for most times in a day. Uh, Charlie, if you want to end our session early, that's okay. I think now. we've covered enough ground for today. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could make that. Do, do that, if that's cool. Sure thing. Circumstances may cause interruptions and delays, but never lose sight of your goal. Oh. Mario. Sorry? Andretti, prepare yourself in every way you can to increase your knowledge and add to your experience. Yes, so that you can make the most of your opportunity when it occurs. Uh, Tara? Tailman. What are you doing there? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm his counselor. Shouldn't you be at home? <laughs> this is my home. Oh, yeah. You, you remember, Doc. She just moved in. Tara, what? I... You. Oh, you, you guys know each other. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, Serendipity was my tour guide, assisted by Avarice. 
It's assisted by Caprice. Leave Pico Iyer out of this. Oh. Sorry, that was unprofessional. Oh, no problem. I just, uh, I'm... Just so I'm not in the middle of anything. You guys aren't, like, uh, involved or anything? That's disgusting. Ew. Oh, oh, cool. Because the last time that happened, I almost became a polyamorous stepdad. Uh, you, you can imagine me with kids, you know? No, look, I, I mean back then. Now I'm totally kid savvy. You know, youth tolerant. Charlie, uh, would you mind giving us a moment? Uh, yeah, honey, would you mind grabbing me a drink? Oh, sure. Uh, you want anything, Doc? Just kidding. <laughs> but if you were in the room, I'd totally get you something. And if it were tall and stiff, I'd let you. All right, I'll just, uh, look, I'll grab a snack. You know, I'll brew some tea, maybe make some steel-cut oatmeal. Hmm? Give your kids some time. Uh, you know, just so I'm not in the middle of anything else. You guys weren't, like, uh, romantic at any point? No, not a, no. 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 Oh, cool, because, you know, last time that happened, I almost became, well, never mind. <clears throat> So dry. All right, uh, libates, drinks, coming right up. Yes, thank you. Uh, oh, Doc, Doc, should we, uh, should we bill this as a double session? Uh, no, that will be unnecessary, Charlie. Oh, great, because uh, then I'll, uh, I'll consider this a buyback. A what? You know, a, a, a buyback, like uh, you're my bartender, but you're the one that's buying. Sure. <clears throat> oh, well, <laughs> this is unexpected. Uh, to say the least. So this is the guy you've been dating? Yeah, Charlie, your client, not some random guy. Oh, where? Haven't you guys, guys talked about us? Sorry, that information is client patient privilege. Tillman. You're right, I, you, he. Tilly, I know it's a lot to take in, I'm surprised. He's totally not your type. How would you know? Well, you usually like them young and well... Dumb. <laughs> uh, that's one way to put it. I was going to say uncomplicated. Well, maybe I want someone more complex with stories and perspective. And troubles? Come on. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, but of playing a poor hand well. Jack London. Or Robert Louis Stevenson. Charlie's not yet playing with a full deck. So he's a few cards short. He's heads above most of the guys I date. And he's stacked. Please, don't ever tell me that again. Tilly, I love him. He's a great guy. It's so exciting watching him open up in so many ways. Yes, but... What about family events? Well, it'll be like hanging out with one of your coworkers. How, Tara, how? I run a private practice. There's no common cooler. There's no common pantry. The closest thing I have to a coworker is my Yorkie. Okay, so it'll be like hanging out with one of your cricket buddies. Tara, those matches last so long, there's no time to socialize after. Tilly, you're missing the point. Just think of Charlie as a friend we both know very well, but in very different ways. Please don't remind me. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I love Wayne Dyer. Tilly, I know how much you like Sandy, but we were too young. Our relationship ended well before we separated. I know, but how hard can it be for you to find someone else? You're smart beautiful. Oh, please. Tell that to dating sites and motel staffs. Motel staffs? Oh, let's just say if you ever want to stay at any Howard Johnson's, my points will cover you for a month. Tara, Howard Johnson is a hotel. Okay, then how about a year's stay at Travelodge or Motel 6? TMI, Tara. 
TMI. Well, at least we're not talking about your parents doing it. True, thank God. Although there was this one time I caught your folks doing it in the kitchen while you were sleeping in the den. No! Don't worry, you were sound asleep. It's not the point. Well, the fact that you're here is the point. True, I guess. Oh. Your dad just stopped, looked me dead in the eye, and said, what? Tilly needs a sibling. <sighs> Jesus Christo, so we're still talking about this? Tilly, lighten up. Take your own medicine. Tara, I'm glad you found someone. I just wish it wasn't my client. Well, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but he's been thinking about quitting therapy. He's ready to move on, and so should you. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. Are you kidding me? He's done so well, I was going to ask him to take part in a case study. Is this more about you or him? You're right. I feel like I'm lost all of a sudden. In order to have wisdom, we must have ignorance. Are you Theodore Dreisering me? Yes. <sighs> Tell you what, I promise not to bring him around for, to any family functions for at least six months. We'll still be in quarantine. Doesn't matter, that'll give you guys time to work things out and see where our relationships go. I don't know. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Victor Hugo? Close. Frankel. Victor Frankel. Uh, am I overreacting? A little, Doc. But, but it's okay. You got this. Sorry, the, the, open, the oatmeal is done. The steel cut? Have we been talking that long? No, we were out of that, so I... Uh, just cooked the instant oatmeal like seven times, and now it's more like kanji. What? Kanji, you know, like uh, Chinese porridge? That's okay. I think we're good here, right? Yes, I think we are. Thank you for giving us some time, Charlie. No problem. You've given me plenty of time over the years, and I'm thankful. Me too. So, um, how do you, uh, how do you recognize recognize or know each other? He's my nephew. Nice! Huh! I'll make sure to buy you a good sweater for Christmas. Thanks. And no matter what it looks like, I'll make sure I'll wear it for family gatherings. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll make sure we go shopping together. <laughs> Thanks, Tara. Well, I should let you guys go. Sure thing, Doc. But before we do, I'd like to uh, share a quote with you both. Uh, who's it from? Oh, that Dreiser guy. You know, I, I, uh, I like the other quote so, so much that I did a quick Google check and uh, maybe Good you choice. know it. Sorry? Go ahead, Charlie. Good choice. Go ahead. Love is the only thing you can truly give in all this world. When you give love, you give everything. Nice one, Charlie. Thanks, Doc. Doc. You've been great, but um, it's probably best we take a break. Yeah, it's time. We both know it. Indeed. Plus, um, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Indeed. Enjoy your afternoon. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> Definitely. <sighs> What's that? Oh. 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 
Oh. Silly. Whoa. Should we say anything? No. He'll be fine. Well, just her. He grounds himself and uses some of his resources and takes a bigger look at the picture and, and he'll be Please fine. Please never leave me, will you, Jane Poston? Oh, no, he'll be fine. <laughs> After all, he may just have a cousin in nine months. What? Cut the play, you gotta play, 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 play. And the haters gotta hate, 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 hate. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off, shake it off.